Hey everybody, it's Matt here. I've been doing some reading these past couple months, and as a Final Fantasy VII fan, I wanted to do a book review of the localized Final Fantasy VII On the Way to a Smile by Kazushige Nojima. This book serves as an epilogue to the original Final Fantasy VII and a prequel to Advent Children. The original On the Way to a Smile was released in chapters on the Japanese Advent Children website back in 2005 and wasn't officially localized for English until 2018. Serving as an epilogue to the original Final Fantasy VII, it immediately follows what happens to the characters after the original PlayStation's abrupt ending, and the world is trying to scramble to deal with the loss of Mako energy, laws, and how to survive the catastrophic event that was Meteor. So in terms of the story structure of this book, there are eight chapters, and although each character from Final Fantasy VII does not have a chapter that is solely focused on them and their story, they are a part of the other characters, and you do get to hear what they've been up to since the final battle. In my honest opinion, this book does a great job at portraying the characters in the way that we remember them from the PlayStation original. Uh, for example, Barrett and his dialogue in this book is just the way I remember him in the PlayStation release. He speaks with a very philosophical, unfiltered rawness that I remember him for, and he was honestly my favorite character to read in this whole book of characters. One of the really neat things and what was interesting about the story in this book is you may read a chapter and you may think, oh, that was just filler, like, I don't even know why I wasted my time reading that. But as you read more throughout the book and what the characters say and do, everything comes full circle and you go, oh my gosh, yes it is, that connects to that, and that makes so much sense, and now I get it. And on the note of things making sense, this book, oh my god, when it comes to watching Advent Children, when I first watched it way back in 2005, I had a very mixed response to the movie because it was very hard to follow everything that was going on and I kept feeling like I was falling into these plot holes because nothing was really explained. But after reading this book, a lot of that stuff comes full circle like I was saying before and it makes so much more sense and the movie is more like a climax to everything that has happened in this book. To try and clarify my example and try to give you a better idea, it's kind of like the series Kingdom Hearts where after the second game there were a lot of small titles that were introducing a new story and characters and building up to something which was the climax of Kingdom Hearts 3. So this book is acting like all those little small titles and Advent Children is this giant climax and the final battle of all the things that the characters are dealing with in this book. With that being said, if you're a Final Fantasy VII fan, I highly recommend that you get this book. I think that this book is a must read. If you have mixed feelings about Advent Children, you could try this book out and I swear it would probably at least make the movie 20% better than what your image is of it now. If you want to get the book, it's available on Amazon for only $15 uh, US dollars on the site. So it's not a whole lot of money to just give this book a chance. So thanks so much everybody for watching my review. I hope you have a good day. If you want to come hang out with me, I'm always streaming games on Twitch and we can talk about Final Fantasy VII. My Twitch tag is twitch.tv slash climahazard underscore Matt, exactly like my YouTube. Take care everyone and see you next time.